Yeah. I did some digging. This Chronon operation is harvesting some kind of fuel. It's used to power a device called the CFR. Ever heard of it? CFR? No, what is it? I'm not sure. But it looks like it's at the center of everything Monarch's doing. The thing they stole from the university, this operation. Everything's linked to the CFR somehow. What the hell is Paul up to? Exit down here. Oh. Not your average elevator. Jack, you know the documents here about some kind of private gala Marnak is hosting tonight? Tonight? After everything that's happened? It has something to do with their future plans. Serene's delivering a speech and the guest list has everybody from Monarch higher ups to big shot scientists to the mayor of Riverport. Which raises the question, why now? I don't know, but I'm gonna find out. <sighs> okay, getting closer, I think. Now, which way's the dry dock? Okay, looks like the trailer has power now. Paul's men had taken the briefcase from Will's car, dumped the contents on the table. The Will had said he needed something from his briefcase to stop the fracture. There wasn't much there but his phone and a key to the Bradbury swimming pool. Not the most obvious clues. Jack, it's Beth. Monarch just got footage of your lady friend sniffing around some confidential Monarch files. Kind of a big no-no around here. Amy, I gotta go back for her. Don't. I'll pick her up. Where are you? I'm on my way to Paul, the dry docks. Serene's not the priority. I'm getting you out of there. I'll meet you at the dry docks. Channel 1 is the Monarch frequency. Use it to keep ahead of them. And Jack, don't do anything stupid. <sighs> it's locked. There's got to be another way to get through here.
I recognized Will's workshop as soon as I saw the old billboard on top. The area we refer to as Ground Zero. It was clear that the workshop was at the top of the water. I wanted to see what was and it seemed to be by Doc's answer. stutters. He knew the fracture would occur. Prepared for it. Oh, shit. And yet he never tried to stop it. Never told you what he did in that workshop at Ground Zero? No, never. He hid that part of his life from me. Nothing prepared me for the weirdness that was waiting there. And even that was just a prelude to the bad stuff that would follow in that same place later. What is this? <laughs> what? what? Hell, hell. What is, what this? is this? That 
already happened. What the fuck? Specifically requested copper clad niobium. Well, there's no words to describe it. Will was gone, but he was all around me. This entire secret life he'd never talked about. Everything he tried to protect me from, it surrounded me. A puzzle, trapped in broken time. We all thought he wasted his research grant, his career, obsessing over some failed experiment. That's what he led us to believe. What he built there, it never failed. It works. It works. Need my, my grant extended, extended another year. year. Please, Please, don't do don't this. Do this. I knew something went horribly wrong there, but it was scrambled. It was impossible to crack. overwhelming. Every unanswered question I had was compounded by what I'd seen at that workshop. The events at the university were part of something much bigger. Something that had started 17 years ago. Okay, dry dock. Get to the dry dock. I'm almost there. Gotta get to Paul. There was something wrong with Paul. Cronon syndrome. He'd had his powers much longer than me. But what was the cause? Was I sick as well, or was it his time travel? I didn't know. It didn't make anything he'd done any less hateful.
Yeah. Jack, you have to understand that Will forced my hand. What the hell happened to you? There's no use fighting. You killed him! I'll explain when the time is right. You'll meet me tonight at the Monarch Gala. Gala? Time's ending and you're having a fucking party. Because when time ends, my plan... We do this now. I'm not meeting yes, you at... you are. I've already seen it happen. Seen what? What's this all for? Goodbye, Jack. No! Stutters were getting bad. Be shifting back and forth without warning. At the time, I didn't think it'd get much worse. But we both know it did. That's good.
Beth had been on her way to meet me. I expected she was frozen somewhere up there, by the side of the dry dock. Shoot me. Look, I'm sorry, but I'm taking the bed. That's for not listening to me back there. Ow. You want to stop time from breaking down? They need my help. And thanks, by the way, for the plus one in the back seat. I'm starting to feel like goddamn babysitter. Babysitter? Are you kidding me? I got good intel off that computer. Bitch. I ride my music. Deal with it. Who the fuck are you people? 